Okay, I'm going to ask you one last question that pertains to my HIV test I took in Africa, and then we'll go on to... And you want this on air? Yes, I tested negative, it's okay. It's up to you. If you want to disclose your results. Now, if I tell you that the test you took was lousy and didn't mean a thing, does that make any difference for everybody to hear? It make a difference for me. Yeah, I know. You want everybody <laughs> in the world to see that, to hear that? Now, in an effort to make the Western blot a little more specific, why don't they up the criteria from two bands, like four or five? I don't think the Western blot is a useful diagnostic test. I don't think it's worth doing. But it's a useful prognostic test. Once you know that someone is infected, then you can follow their antibody responses well with Western blots. You're looking forwards into how the patient's going to do in the future in a prognostic test. Diagnosts say, is the patient infected or not? You don't need a Western blot. And it's become a dogma in HIV research that you need one ELISA followed by a Western. You don't. You need two different kinds of ELISAs made in two different formats. Uh, Western blots have been sort of promoted into some sort of holy grail.